good morning i am dr hemant kalra i am a pulmonologist uh, today i'll be telling you about allergic rhinitis before i tell you about allergic rhinitis i must tell you what is rhinitis rhinitis is inflammation of the nasal mucosa of the nose mucosa means inner lining of our nose it may be allergic it may be non allergic also uh, when two or more of the following symptoms are present we call it rhinitis first uh, nasal congestion nasal blockade second uh, nasal discharge may be anterior or posterior and behind the uh, nose or through the nose second third sneezing fourth is itchy nose itching in the nose out of these four when two or more are present we call it rhinitis so rhinitis can be allergic and it can be non allergic non allergic can be there are various uh, reasons it can be idiopathic uh, it can be atrophic it can be because of emotional changes it can be irritant induced drug induced infectious these are the non allergic causes allergic causes are because of an exposure to a known allergen or unknown allergen in indoor or outdoor air which causes these four symptoms then we call it allergic rhinitis in allergic rhinitis there is a specific ige mediated inflammation in the nose following exposure to these allergens this is allergic rhinitis is there any relation of allergic rhinitis with asthma yes there is a relation in 30% of allergic rhinitis patient asthma is present and in most of the asthmatic patients allergic rhinitis is present in poorly controlled asthmatic patients we must look for allergic rhinitis and we must control allergic rhinitis if we want to control asthma properly and fourth very important is in all allergic rhinitis patients we must assess all patients for asthma also what are the comorbid conditions with allergic rhinitis most of the patients with allergic rhinitis they also suffer from chronic sinus problems sinusitis chronic eye problems conjunctivitis recurrent dental infections sleep problems uh, ear problems otitis media these things are commonly associated with allergic rhinitis if we want to control these things we must control allergic rhinitis also when we talk about allergic rhinitis it is very important to differentiate it is very important to tell you about what is the difference between allergens and triggers allergens are those substances which cause inflammation in the nasal cavity this inflammation further causes symptoms i mentioned like nasal blockage nasal discharge sneezing and itchy nose allergens mostly are maybe allergens can be outdoor allergens maybe indoor allergens common allergens in india are uh, first of all house dust mites commonly seen in indoor air uh, in all uh, uh, human dwellings second cockroaches pets fungal spores these are indoor air allergens common allergens outdoor allergens are pollen grains grasses pollen grains these are outdoor allergens what are triggers triggers are those substances which increase inflammation in the nose because of these allergens what can be the triggers triggers are change of temperature maybe from cold winters to summer summers to winters change in humidity exposure to cold dusty atmosphere eating some fruits uh, <laughs> cold fruits and citrus fruits banana peanuts these things can be triggers so there is a difference between allergens and triggers so how to diagnose allergic rhinitis 
first of all in any medical condition you know history taking is very very important then examination is also very important because in allergic rhinitis uh, local examination is very very important you can see some features like allergic salute allergic shiners transverse crease on your nose there are certain features cobblestone uh, oropharynx these are certain physical signs in allergic rhinitis plus history second skin prick test is also there which can tell you patient is allergic to these these things third blood test is also there specific ige level against allergens it may be fungus it may be pollen grains it may be grasses it may be food allergy so history examination skin prick test and allergy testing blood tests are involved to make a diagnosis of allergic rhinitis how to manage allergic rhinitis in 2008 who gave us some guidelines they further clarified these guidelines in 2010 they divided allergic rhinitis into seasonal and perennial seasonal means when allergic rhinitis is present during some particular seasons and perennial means when allergic rhinitis is present throughout the year they further classified allergic rhinitis into intermittent and persistent intermittent means when symptoms are present less than 4 days in a week and more than 4 weeks in a year persistent means when symptoms are present more than 4 days in a week and more than 4 weeks in a year they further classified allergic rhinitis into severity mild moderate and severe mild means when patients of allergic rhinitis do not have any sleep problems they have normal uh, daily activities normal work and school activities and no troublesome symptoms when one or more of these symptoms are present they are classified in moderate and severe category what is the treatment once we have diagnosed allergic rhinitis most important is education and allergen avoidance in allergic rhinitis is the main stay of therapy second comes pharmacotherapy which is drugs third is immunotherapy and fourth is surgery in very selected cases education and allergen avoidance is the key in allergic rhinitis patients we must explain to the patients about allergic rhinitis because it is an allergic disorder it cannot be eradicated it can be controlled adequately controlled with good amount of education allergen avoidance and pharmacotherapy in some cases what is pharmacotherapy in allergic rhinitis it involves two types of drugs one oral drugs second is topical drugs topical drug means drugs which are instilled directly into the nasal cavity so what are the drugs in uh, topical therapy we have got uh, nasal corticosteroids nasal anticholinergics antihistaminic anti allergic drugs and nasal decongestant topical nasal decongestant drugs are there in oral category we have got antihistaminics we have got anticholinergics anti leukotriene uh, inhibitors and uh, oral corticosteroids are also there in the market for treating allergic rhinitis third is immunotherapy immunotherapy is given in very selected cases which are not controlled on adequate drugs topical and oral drugs it involves repeated administration of allergen extracts to induce immunological tolerance in the body it is usually given for a period of 3 years but it is given in very very selected cases it is not useful in all allergic rhinitis patients and fourth and finally is surgery which is also indicated in very selected cases uh, surgeons ent surgeons can do septoplasty they can operate on deviated nasal septums and other things but it is uh, also in very very selected cases 
what are the recommendations recommendation is first of all education allergen avoidance you must know your allergens and triggers and in drugs when these things are not working topical nasal corticosteroid and oral antihistaminics are the drug of choice second line drugs are montelukast leukotriene inhibitors these are first line drugs second line drugs are given when these drugs are not working on in special conditions uh, what are the special conditions special conditions are in pediatric age group and in pregnancy in pediatric age group all children of more than 4 years of age they are treated as adults all drugs are recommended in such category but smaller children we do not give all drugs we try to give nasal saline nasal drops saline drops and oral antihistamines are given in smaller children sometimes nasal corticosteroid and oral corticosteroids are also given but in very very selected cases and in pregnancy also uh, most of the drugs are not recommended in nasal corticosteroids can be given in pregnancy oral antihistaminics can also be given in pregnancy but no other drug is recommended in pregnancy so in a nutshell allergic rhinitis is a chronic allergic problem it cannot be eradicated it can be controlled adequately by good education allergen avoidance and if these things do not give you proper relief you must go for pharmacotherapy you must take drugs to control allergic rhinitis i have told you drugs the best drug available is nasal corticosteroid you have to put uh, nasal drops nasal spray in your nasal cavity directly there are no side effects in pediatric age group in pregnancy can be given and oral antihistaminics and montelukast these are two drugs which are recommended plus nasal corticosteroids thank you very much